Kim Kardashian copes with beauty line backlash on cute teaser. Kim Kardashian was shown reacting in horror at being accused of doing blackface to promote her new beauty line in a teaser shown Tuesday. The first look for the next episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians showed Kim, 37, sitting in a white bathrobe with assistant Stephanie Shepard staring at a laptop. People are saying I'm doing blackface, Kim said, clearly upset at the response she was getting from the promotional material for her beauty line KKW Beauty. I did a photo suit. There were some people online saying the photos were inappropriate, she explained, with Stephanie looking worried as she asked her boss, what do you do? It's already up. The allegations hit Kim particularly hard as it was her first steps back in the spotlight after her self-imposed exile following the horror of her aunt robbery in Paris. I am nervous just because I've been slowly taking my time to come back, she admitted to him on Chris Jenner as she prepared to fly to New York to be interviewed at the Forbes Women's Summit. It's hard for me to get back out there, Kim revealed. Calling it a serious, major sit-down interview with Forbes editor-in-chief Steve Forbes, Kim admitted, there's a lot of pressure especially because everything you say can be taken out of context or taken the wrong way. So I want to be prepared. The blackface backlash also hit hard because Kim insisted that launching her own makeup line was the highlight of her career. It's so exciting to do something on my own, Kim said. Basically, for the past almost decade my sisters and I have always had a licensing deal. But going from being a licensee to an owner is such a big deal and it's so much more responsibility. I feel like this is what I've been working for for 10 years, Kim declared. She was seen showing off some of her product to family friend Jonathan Keeban, who asked, how's Kylie feeling about you being a makeup mogul as well? She's really so supportive of it, Kim insisted of her 20-year-old sister who already has a successful line of her own, Kylie Cosmetics. So cool. The first look special for the next episode also showed tensions rising between Courtney, 38, and ex Scott Disick, 34, who had been embarrassing her with his wild antics with a string of young women. At one point she told him angrily, you think you can hurt me and still get invited to everything? It's funny how fake you really are, though, Scott snapped back. He also showed his amazing knack for being inappropriate when he lounged around a pool with Courtney's sister Chloe, 33, and asked her, can you not jiggle your butt when you're talking to me? The fact that you were staring at that. Chloe replied, insisting, I was jiggling my leg. How can I not? I was trying to get my face out of the sun and then I glanced over at your butt, he told her. It's not a tick you're literally twerking. When she insisted she was literally shaking my leg, he replied, Are you joking me? It looks like a vibrator lodged into your asterisk asterisk right now. I'm trying to talk to you and your butts bouncing around town. As if Chloe were not shocked enough, he added, I feel like I'm at a strip club. I have no cash on me. Oh God, Chloe sighed at the stripper comparison. Courtney also admitted she had been turning to lifestyle coach Tony Robbins to try to give her a more positive attitude as she finally moved on from Scott. At one point as she sat with Chloe and their friends Malika and Kadaha she got them all to chant, the quality of your life is the quality of your relationships. It's a Tony Robbins quote, you can thank me later, she told them, adding another of his quotes, I've come to believe that all my past failure and frustration were actually laying the foundation for the understandings that have created the new level of living I now enjoy. I feel like all of this applies to me with Scott too, guys, she told the gathered girls. I'm making a change and I want you to know. I've been reading a lot of Tony Robbins' work lately and I feel like he's really inspired me to have a positive outlook on life, she told Chloe later. Chloe was surprised by the new attitude. You're not normally like this. You're usually so negative and have nothing positive to say.
for you to be going from negative Nancy to positive Penny. It's pretty strange, Chloe said. Chloe had nothing but good news. Meanwhile, as she told her family that she was moving to Los Angeles for the summer with basketball beau Tristan Thompson while his season with the Cleveland Cavaliers was over. What? You guys broke up? Kim teased her sister when she first told her and Courtney, guess who's coming home? Giz? What? No. Chloe replied, insisting, of Tristan, he really wants to hang out with all of us more. He's like, I want to be a part of your family and do stuff as a group. It's so nice I've never had a guy want our families to blend before, Chloe said. She started looking for an extra house for them in the city so that Tristan could continue to a day practices at UCLA, with Chloe saying, Trust me, nobody in LA wants to sit in traffic for over two hours every single day. She added proudly, Tristan has always gone out of his way to make me feel at home and in Cleveland, he's gone above and beyond, so in LA I want to do the same for him. The next episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians titled Beauty Queen will air on Sunday on the E! Network.